Hi, I'm Sebastian live from CableOrganizer.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create a RJ45 cable from scratch. So let's take a look at the tools we're going to need. You're going to need a modular plug tool, RJ45 connector, a cable stripper, a crimp tool, a cable tester, and of course a stranded cable can be a CAT5 or CAT6 cable, it's the same. So the first step is going to be to slide one of the boots on each end of the cables. You will see later why. Then you're going to take one end of the cable and the stripper tool and you're going to strip the cable just like this. Now don't do it too much otherwise you're going to damage the wires inside and then you just bend a little bit and strip the cable like this you can see you have four pairs of wires that you're gonna spread like this you have to do of course the same on the other end of the cable now that we spread the cables we're gonna have to untwist them so you can do it the hard way using your nails and your fingers but it's pretty hard as you can see so the easy way is going to take the cover that you just removed and put on one wire of each pair like this and twist and turn twist and turn and as you can see the pair untwisted now let's move on to the next step once you've done that, you're going to have your eight cables like this. What you have to do is put them in a particular order. To find the instructions, simply go to CableOrganizer.com website, click on the network button right here, and you're going to find on this section the exact order on how the cables are supposed to be. So you're going to reproduce what's on this picture right here on your cables. It's gonna be white and orange first, then orange, then white and green, blue, white and blue, etc. etc. You're gonna put your eight cables like this in order. Then take your RJ45 connector and put the eight cables in the connector and the results should look something like this On. the next step is going to be to take the crimp tool put your cable and your RJ45 connector in there and now you're going to squeeze hard You can squeeze once or twice, doesn't matter. And now you can see that your cables are not moving anymore. Of course, you can cut the extra cables still using the crimp tool. You have a blade here, you're gonna cut the extra cables. And then you have your cables almost ready. You're gonna put back the boot right here. And there you go, your cable is ready. Alright, now that we're done with our cable, we have to make sure that it's working properly, of course. This is where we're going to use the cable tester. What you're going to do is put the end of your cables on the top, right here, and turn on the cable tester. And as you can see, you're going to see lights, red lights, like this. So you have to make sure that the pairs of lights from one to eight are lighting at the same time like you can see right here if it is the case that means your cable works fine thank you very much it's Sebastian from cableorganizer.com